Thursday the 4th of April. We're at Athlone. We're heading down to Tullamore where we're going to reverse. Uh, head up to Ballina. Via Westport and Manila Junction. With a special stop at Castle Weir. Let's do it. map update today's trip is very easy we go down from Athlone to Tullamore reverse and then come back up through Athlone we go all the way through to Westport then come back and then we do the intriguing Manula Junction with a little train that takes us up to Banana. I'm Facebook living and filming hello Jeff with the big camera Ugh, oh, meta, as Jeff would say. So we're coming into the station now. I wonder where you were. Say hi to Facebook. I don't know where you were. <laughs> the changing weather of Ireland. It was hailing two minutes ago. Now the sun shines out. I can't tell what it is. It's not a castle, there's a sign that says it's like a business park. It might be like local council offices. I think it's just an old historic building, but Vicky, not a castle. Which is why I'm doing this bit and, and, and not her. Train's here. Woohoo! We got on the train at Tullamore and we met the lovely Autumn. Hi Autumn. Greetings, greetings. <laughs> How do you feel about the railways? Autumn? Trains are the best. I like trains. We will shortly be arriving. They do need to be improved though. Great, Autumn, thank you. I think you're getting off now. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you dear. See ya. <laughs> In a break with tradition, which means I have to discuss castles later, Vicky is now going to tell you about some of her favorite features yeah. of this train. I cannot wait for you to talk about castles. I literally cannot wait. We're currently travelling on an ICR train and consistent features that we have spotted whilst travelling on these types of trains over the last week or so are reservations which we're going to try out tomorrow. So when you book your ticket you can reserve a seat and your name will appear um, at the top here. So we're going to try that tomorrow. Toilets on every train, often trolley service, um, where they provide a little menu on your table as well. Um, but perhaps best of all, always, always a socket so you can charge your phone. Race rocking up. Who are we seeing here, Vicky? Who are we seeing here, Vicky? Who are we seeing here, Vicky? Uh, a lovely man called Sean. A lovely man called Sean. He has uh, what I believe is the largest personal collection of railway memorabilia in the country. That's quite a claim. Sean will be on your screens shortly. Doing? I'd shake your hand, but but one hand's got the camera in, and the other <laughs> hand's got. Vicky, who have we Hello. met? So this is yeah. Sean, Hello. whose wonderful collection we're, we're going to and see. And this is uh, Michael. He's a station master. And Michael, you actually <laughs> work here. Okay. <laughs> and will you tell them how amazing Irish railways are? Yes, yeah. they are incredible. We're in a car. We are in a car. With two strange men. <laughs> I'm sure my mum told me not to do this. Oh, yes. Mum, I'm sorry. She definitely told me not to. Do this. <laughs> My well, mum told you not to get into strange men's cars. Told me not to get in your car, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So we made it to Formerly known as Hell's Kitchen yes. in the Castle Ray uh, Railway, Railway Museum. Museum, and we just have to shuffle, 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 shuffle. because behind us it, there's an actual 
There's an actual train carriage inside the bar. <laughs> and you're going to talk to Sean and find out, and find out why. Why? 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 why. why. So why, Sean, <laughs> do you have a train carriage in what was once a bar? The locomotive itself I bought it from CIE. But when I was a young lad going to Dublin, I'd seen all the steam engines up for scrapping. So I said if I was old enough at the time, if I had actually approached them, would I have got one? No. But I was very lucky that the CEO at the time was David Waters, and he was from Mayo. So I actually, when I applied for it, they said I could have it. It only cost £1,600 from to buy it a scrap value. But the whole job at that time, 20 years ago, cost 140000 So behind this wall, there's more. There's, there's more to there's see. There's a full uh, museum on the far side. There's already just so much to see, sure. <laughs> when I was a young lad back in the 50s, I used to go up and down with this horse and cart, and that's where my interest started. So, so we've still got to go into the actual museum. See, I know, there's more to see. Uh, Vicky, the, it's not just the front of the train, it's the whole carriage. <laughs> look, what? Look, look. Head, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole carriage. <laughs> that's good, Whoa. right? <laughs> Sean, you got the whole carriage. Yeah, yeah, the whole, the whole. This was Indian was here actually. Uh -huh. Got you a hat. Okay, great. It's a CIE hat, which was the company before. Uh, Aaron Road, Aaron. Sean, what does CIE stand for? Crushing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Castle Rear. Am I saying it right? Castle Rear. Castle Rear Railway Museum. It's full of loads of brilliant railway artefacts to either ring or email Sean. Uh, here's 30 seconds set to music of all the things you can see in this amazing museum. So much here, we can't quite do it justice in one video. Vicky, you set this up. How, do, where, how, where, why should people come and visit the amazing um, Sean? Why? Yeah. Because it's amazing. Oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's just um, <laughs> so many incredible artifacts um, about Islands Railways, from everything from the tiny little tickets up to an actual locomotive, like, he, and everything in between. He's got everything. Yeah. With you, like track signals. Yes. Trains. Turntables, uniforms, signage, Images. Anything. anything. He's collected everything. everything. The wonderful Sean, come to Castle Ree and yes. uh, come visit. Yes. Sean, you're brilliant. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much. God bless you, Jeff. God bless you too. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> have a great, you have an amazing Thank place. Thank you. Don't you have an amazing place. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and that's how to do Castle Ray. Oh, Sean, if you're watching this, you're, you're brilliant. <laughs> Your collection's amazing. Everyone should come and uh, see it. And our train is a few minutes late. Which meant that we actually made it. We made it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Gonna jump out of Ballyhunis. Tickety tick tick tick. Ballyhunis. Ballyhunis. Like that. Claire Morris. And on the other side, there's actually an island platform. Looks like there's three platforms here. Claire Morris. This is Claire Morris. We're at Manila Junction, but we'll make a fuss of this properly after you, madam, on the way back. And I found out from our guard that the reason why Claire Morris had that third platform is that the shuttle to Balinar, this is the shuttle, used to run from uh, Claire Morris and not Manila Junction. So everyone is changing, as you, as you can see. Bye, ladies. Bye, so thank Thanks. you so much. These were great. They were great. Changing for the Ballinar train, which we will catch on the way back down once we've been to Westport. So we'll do make a fuss of this when when uh, when we come back. It's going to tick off Castle Bar, the county town of County Mayo. It has links to Lord Lucan. There's a Lucan Street here. 
in Castle Bar and a nice station too. We made it to Westport. We're told that the station isn't anywhere really near the town, which is a shame because my, my friend Fred turned up and you were saying that the town is lovely. What you can see from the station is the Tesco. All you can see from the station is the supermarket. This is actually one of the most beautiful towns in Ireland, right? And voted uh, on occasions the best place to live in the whole of Ireland. But what you're going to see from the station, as I remember, is Tesco and the bus station, if you're lucky. And by the way, it's County Mayo, it's raining, that's necessary. And the line used to go further to where Fred don't be, get it wrong it would, well it would be going past a place called Morris which is at the foot of Crow Patrick and then on to Lewisburg I'm guessing but that's definitely a job for Mr Google but in the 1960s they did a beaching in Ireland and they closed a lot of railway lines they wish they hadn't closed now so they would probably wish just as we do in England and in the United Kingdom that these lines were still open but right now Westport is the end of the line so Lord Altamount and the Altamount family used to own Westport House, I don't think they do anymore. And what about this red writing here? Is that some ancient Gaelic inscription? Is yeah, that... absolutely, yes. That's, yes, um, the, that's one old... of the oldest signs in the west of Ireland, <laughs> absolutely. Um, that'll be Teishkol. <laughs> and uh, do you know what? You see that quite a lot. That is a historic Irish sign, along with Aldi and Lidl. <laughs> Manila Junction. Manila Junction. Vicky's going live on the Periscope. I'm doing the filming. Let me say goodbye to our friend Fred. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Jeff. Bye, Thank Vicky. You. See you again. I'm off to feed the dog. That's Fred, everyone. See ya. That's Fred, everyone. Bye. This is Manila Junction. This is the little train. This is a weird station. It's like Dovey Junction in Wales. You can't get to this by road. There's no public access. It's purely here for you to change from the main line to the branch line to take you up uh, to Ballinar. So I think we've got like four minutes until this leaves. And I think that was it. That was fast, man. The driver was just waiting for us to get on and then he was gone. This is what it looks like when I'm filming, by the way. <laughs> Do it again, Jeff. Uh, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> Nice buffers. That's the end. Of oh, day, I've lost count. Uh, <laughs> Ballinar. Uh, this is a lovely station, lots of lovely heritage. It's quite quaint. And the line used to go further. Freight line still does. Uh, early start tomorrow. Indeed. Gotta get a bus over to Sligo. Head back to Dublin. Thanks for watching. Thank you. See you again See you tomorrow. Next time. On all the stations. Bye. Bye. Roll credits. Here comes the train. We've never done an intro before where the trains rolled in live in the background, have we? I'm not sure. Thursday the 4th of April. We're at Athlone. We're heading down to Tullamore where we're going to reverse.